We've got an awesome episode in store for you today. We're out here slow trolling. We wanna share some of the tips and tricks that we use. We're gonna be fishing a variety of downriggers, outriggers, a variety of baits, both pilchards and goggle eyes, and hopefully we can encounter some action. However, we decided to put a little bit of a twist on today's episode. We're gonna have a little bit of a fish off. We've got Captain Carlos Rodriguez and Captain Steve Dougherty. You've seen these guys on the show. And you know, they're, they're constantly bickering back and forth. Who the better angler is? Well, we're gonna find out today. So we've put together a little bit of a tournament. These guys are gonna be fishing off each corner of the stern here. And we've got some simple rules that we've put into place. We've got a lines in time at eight o'clock sharp, which is right around the corner here. Lines out at one o'clock, so they've got five hours to fish. And we're gonna give you hourly reports and let you know exactly how they're doing. The guys have to fish three rods. We want to see their, their level of versatility and skill and, and strategy certainly comes into play. They're going to be fishing one downrigger bait, one outrigger bait, and one flat line. Okay, so it's really going to be awesome. They've got to fish identical rods. Each guy, I've set them up with the same amount of rods. They've got a variety of 20 and 30 pound class chaos rods matched to Daiwa reels loaded with the same diamond line. They do have their choice of terminal tackle, so they can fish fluorocarbon, they can fish wire leaders, whatever they'd like to do. Each guy is allowed 50 baits, 15 goggle eyes, and 35 pilchards. Every time they pull a bait out of that well, it's being recorded and they cannot use that bait again. So it's either gonna get eaten, or they're gonna lose that bait, or that bait may potentially die. They've got 50 shots. And we're gonna count every member of the tuna family, and that includes Bonita, Skipjack, Blackfin, every member of the mackerel family, Spanish mackerel, King mackerel, Jack, Swahoo, Cobia, Dolphin, they all count. We're gonna take an overall length on measurement, add up all of those lengths at the end of the day, and that's gonna determine our winner. There's a couple more rules. The guys have to hook and fight their fish to the boat on their own. Nobody can touch any of their rods, so it's really gonna show their skill level here. The winner, the winner is gonna have, well, for starters, bragging rights, because I assure you, the loser is never gonna live this down. And the loser, well, he's gonna get a boot, okay? This is his trophy, is this awesome used fishing boot. The winner is also gonna have his choice of an awesome, trophy mount courtesy of King Sailfish mounts on any fish that he catches today. So without further ado, eight o'clock's right around the corner. It's on right now. Good luck. Ho ho, what on? CB Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. Oh, there he is, right there, right there. Oh, oh, awesome, dude, that was sick. Bro, oh, another one on, another one on. Ugh. Woo! Nice, that's what it's all about right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. Zato 05, start fishing, Carlos, what bait are you using? Goggle eye. Carlos God. God. Done. Oh, oh, cut the wire off. Oh, that's why you don't yeah. use number four wire, because it's too thin. Oh, yeah. That's why I use heavier wire. Yeah, let's see if you can get a bite, though, buddy. I got a pilcher off my long bait, in case maybe a stray dolphin or something comes up, and then my deep bait's got a stinger, and my flat bait right close to the boat's going for kinks, too, with the goggle eye. Numero tres. Man, Carlos, you got a bite right away. Yeah. Like within the first 30 seconds, you're baping in the water. And what happened? Oh, I just, you know, started off with some good juju. The only part that didn't end with the good juju is it broke the wire, but. Broke the wire. Well, the strategy I'm using here is, you know, just trying to keep it simple. I got a stinger rig with a goggle eye down deep. A single J hook wire rig on this little 20 pound outfit right behind the boat. And then another big gog with the stinger rig out on the uh, outrigger, maybe 40, 50 feet back. We'll see if we can get one to stick, though, and not, not break through the wire next time. Maybe you should be using heavier wire. Maybe you should stay to your side. He's got all double lines on his rigs and everything. You know, I'm trying to eliminate any drag, try and keep the bait as natural as possible. How does having a double line create more drag? Please tell me. My personal preference, that's all. 
What are you looking at, Carlos? My rod about to get hit. Yeah? Yeah. I'm using a little more stealthier, thinner fluorocarbon. It looks like he was using something maybe 40 or 50. I'm using 30. I got tiny spro, ball bearing swivel. He's got a big in your face snap swivel. So I'm trying to go a little smaller and he just got cut off on his first fish and he was using number four wire. I'm using five, so maybe that'll help me out. Who is the better angler, you know? You know, if, if you would have thought it was you, you wouldn't have hesitated. So, Carlos, right, buddy. A good fisherman, but. Nah. Carlos belongs on a flat yeah. in about two feet uh -huh. of water with his big waders on, uh -huh. looking like Santa Claus. Uh -huh. Carlos, let's share some secrets on what's going on right here. I'm well, what are you doing? Tell the people out there who want to learn how to slow troll. What can you teach them right now? Well, we're, we're zigzagging back and forth here, you know, between 80 and a couple hundred feet of water. So you got to constantly be on the downrigger, changing the depth, see, you know, see where you can pick up a bite. Uh, I wasn't down maybe 30, 40 feet when I first got that first bite. So, you know, you got to kind of acclimate to that and just hope for the best, you know. People do this all over the place, you know. On the west coast, they fish a lot shallower than we're fishing right now and catch real big fish too. So something you can use anywhere. It's really effective on calm days like this where it could be kind of hot and you know the top of the water column is just really dead so it's good to get your baits down deep. We'll see what gets hit first either the flat lines or the uh, the deep bait but my guess is the big king is going to hit one of these sooner or later. I'm about losing it right now. This is normal routine for me. I'm like you know more flowing. He's more like Pitchy, you know. Blowing. Yeah. Who isn't excited to get a bite? Well, I'm excited, but I don't go rampant. Rampant? I'm standing here. It's gonna happen. Not for you. Not for me, huh? <laughs> Why is that? Bad juju. Bad juju? Yeah. What is juju? Please explain. Oh, I, I can't. That, that's not something I can't explain, man. Oh, I did get a bite. Yeah, half half your fish is missing, man. You What's did get going a bite. on there? Oh, oh, nasty bite. Look at that short strike. Wait, aren't those treble hooks supposed to be on the back to make sure the fish doesn't take the bait? <laughs> See that? Treble hooks sometimes don't work. Right now, nobody's on the board. Carlos had a crushing bite as soon as we started fishing. Fish bit right through the leader. He missed it. Could have been a big king. Could have been a wahoo. 30 minutes later, Steve had a bite on his flat line on a gog, bit the bait right in half, and he missed that fish. Right now, it's an intense battle to see who gets the first fish in the boat. Florida Sport Fishing is proudly presented by Ghost, boat security, monitoring, and tracking you can count on. Mr. Ice Machine, your outlet for Manitowoc ice machines. Ballyhood Lures, jets, feathers, and chuggers sold rigged and ready to catch fish. PNR Canvas, custom marine canvas, manufacturing, design, and installation. Fishing Pursuits, visit fishingpursuits.com and go fish the planet. Are you ready to get hooked up? Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, your number one resource for the latest tips, tricks, tactics, and techniques for inshore and offshore. Only $30 for three years. For immediate home delivery, visit floridasportfishing.com. Enter promo code TV and receive a free shirt and official decal with paid subscription. High performance hulls designed for speed, comfort, and durability. Custom features and accessories designed for every taste. A brilliant engineered machine designed to catch more fish. Presenting the remarkable lineup from CB Boats. The secret's out. Start with brine and bite. The only brine that infuses proven bite stimulants into any rigged bait. Procure badass bait dyes are next. And bring Ballyhoo to life with vibrant fluorescent colors. Seal the deal with Procure's new Bloody Tuna Oil and watch your catch ratio soar. Inshore and offshore, Procure bait scents and badass bait dyes keep you hooked up. Find Procure at your favorite dealer or call 800-PROCURE for a free catalog. 
Yachtlights.com, everything marine lighting. Interior and exterior, Yachtlights.com has it all at the lowest prices. Stylish recessed lights, LED strips, floodlights and deck lights, and the hottest underwater lights from as low as $199. Shop online for free shipping and weekly clearance items or visit our new showroom. When you need marine lighting, you need Yachtlights.com. Tired of outrageous markups? Stingray Fishing Outfitters beats all advertised prices with specials on the finest tournament winning tackle, accessories, and outdoor apparel. Operated by knowledgeable anglers with everything you need for freshwater and saltwater fishing under one roof, ready for immediate delivery. Save big. Shop where the pros shop. Shop at stingraytackle.com. Hey, it's been a tough morning of fishing so far, which isn't surprising. The weather's absolutely gorgeous, the ocean's flat calm here, and sometimes that really creates some tough, tough fishing conditions. I'll tell you what, it's intense down there in the cockpit. They're at each other's throats, and they're each looking for their first fish. That's what it's all about, is maintaining your composure. Keep at it, fish hard, and see what happens. I am pissed. Mr. Composure. Not gonna get discouraged though. I have composure. Fishing's not uh, not going off yet, but you know, we got a couple bites, a couple breakoffs, a couple chops and halves. We'll uh, stick with it, see what else we can, you know, get into trouble with, and hopefully one of them will stick. We just hooked up. I had my bait out on the rigger out here, uh, maybe 100 feet back, and just saw white water thrashing back there, and just started taking some line. There it goes. Oh yeah, he just got pissed. <laughs> the king. Yeah. Oh, decent king. Yeah. Nice king. There you go. That's only like a 15 pounder. Carlos, that's a giant kingfish. I know. Hey, somebody had to break that. Get an official measurement on this. 38 and a half nuts. No, 38. 38 and a half inches. Uh-oh. You have it on the dude, what are you talking about? 38. Dude, dude, look at how you have it. Dude, 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 look, straight on that fish's mouth, 38 inches. Okay. Good with that? I'm fine with that. 38 inches, yeah. you are on the board. There it is. First fish of the day, Carlos scores. A whopper. We need to learn how to measure fish appropriately. Carlito one, Steve zero. Carlos, how deep did you catch that fish? Uh, he was on the surface. He hit the rigger out, you right know, 100, feet, 100, rigger feet, 100 feet away from the boat. We're just north of Boca here. We're in about 130 foot of water. Each of the guys is fishing three baits. They've got a downrigger bait, uh, and they're fishing those deep baits anywhere from 40 to 60 feet below the surface. They've got a flat line right behind the boat. Carlos, you got a pilchard or a goggle eye on your flat line? That was a goggle eye. That was a goggle, yeah, okay. Yeah. And the guys are also fishing a third rod right off the tip of the outrigger, keeping that bait right on the surface. Real quick here, Carlos, and I'll let you get back to the fishing. How's it feel of being a lead? Oh, phenomenal. Yeah. I'm digging it. You got yeah. the smoke? Or... Uh, just, you know, we'll keep going, see what happens. Stick around, we're gonna take a quick break. But first, check out our rigging station. We wanna give you a closer look at the tackle that these guys are fishing today. Rigging Station, brought to you by Diamond Fishing Products, most reliable monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. On today's Rigging Station, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about downrigger fishing. Downriggers are an absolutely essential tool, especially effective in the summertime when Big King Mackerel, Wahoo, Blackfin Tuna, these fish are hunting for prey well below the surface where the water temperature is a little bit cooler. Downriggers are available in multiple configurations. May it be manual or electric like the pair of cannons that we have on board our 39 CV. Look for a quality product. Canon is a leader in the industry. We can rely on this equipment in any conditions and that's certainly important when you're tournament fishing. In addition, we've got a swivel base, a stainless steel swivel base, so we can easily maneuver our downrigger in any direction or any angle away from the boat that we would like. It's got a telescoping boom, which allows us to put that bait out away from the boat. 
The downrigger also has a little gauge so we can determine exactly how far below the surface our bait is being presented. We primarily fish 20 and 30 pound conventional outfits off of the downriggers. You really don't need anything fancy, but the key is to get that bait below the surface. That's where those fish are during the summertime heat and that's where you need to present your baits. May it be live baits, strip baits, uh, rig ballyhoo, diving plugs, they all work off of downriggers. If you're you know, really serious about increasing your score during the summertime, regardless if you're fishing on the west coast, on the east coast here, or down around the Keys, get your boat set up with a downrigger, maybe a pair of downriggers would be even better, and set yourself up with an awesome spread. You'll be able to slow troll, you'll be able to cover ground when there's no wind whatsoever, you can have some effective baits on the surface, and more importantly, you can have some irresistible baits 40 to 80 feet below the surface where those big fish are. Rigging Station, brought to you by Diamond Fishing Products, most reliable monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. Florida Sport Fishing is proudly presented by Sea Sucker. Mount anything, anywhere with no tools and no holes. Saltwater Assassin Lures, soft plastic go-to baits for every fish in every venue. New Ice, maximize cooler performance with New Ice eco-friendly freezer packs. Skeleton Fish, wearable art. Select your trophy and receive free shipping at skeletonfish.com. Crystal Reels, power and versatility. Setting the standard with all-in-one electric fishing reels. Chaos is tragic. Chaos can be awesome. Yo, another one on, another oh! one on. Three on, baby. <laughs> with Chaos Fishing, it's your rod your way. Quality components and personalized service from a legendary builder equal the right rod at the right price every time. Shop online for a complete selection of serious fishing equipment. Or visit Chaos's new superstore and receive a free t-shirt with every rod purchase. Chaos Fishing Gear Matters. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MMT char plotter, Navnet TZ Touch. Scentblazer is changing fishing forever. This revolutionary new trolling lure looks, sounds, smells, tastes, and swims like a real fish. The advantage is in the patented detachable bait chamber, loaded with bait weights, lights, rattles, and more. As it's trolled, water enters the lure and passes over the bait inside, leaving a trail of scent and bait pieces behind. Get more strikes, get more fish, get Scentblazer. For more information and to find your nearest retailer, visit Scentblazer.com. 100, 500, 1,000. How much money are you wasting on melted ice and thawed bait? Frigid Rigid keeps ice and bait frozen for 10 days. Built to withstand everyday use, 25 sizes up to 525 quarts means there's a Frigid Rigid cooler, refrigerator, or tackle center just for you. The boat may have burnt down, but the ice and chum stayed frozen. Frigid Rigid, 800-643-1988 or visit frigidrigid.com for a dealer near you. See, now, I want to figure out how a fish does that. Treble hook's still in the back, hit the front bait, but miss the front hook, you know? Sometimes these fish, I don't think they go to school. They go to, like, graduate class or something. I don't know, it's stupid. You know, you should just put, like, a little rubber cap on your hooks, Steve. It'll be just as good. Just worry about yourself there, Cuban. What are rubber caps anyway? It looks like Steve's having a little bit of trouble over there. It could be because he, maybe he's got some rubber caps on his hooks, you know, to prevent the, the barbs from going into the, the fish. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what's going on. He's getting up. Carlos, you should try thinking before you speak. The clicker's broken on this, dude. No joke. Honestly, it's a, the clicker's on, right? Look, no clicker, clicker. Come on, look. Problems. The problem child. Look, now I have faulty equipment. I started getting a little more emotional about a half hour ago. Constant backlash because the clicker is broke. This is a routine though. This is a routine with him. I see it. Like even when we fish tournaments, but it's great. It's good camaraderie, you know? Carlos, shouldn't you be like on a flat somewhere catching trout? No, 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 no. Ladyfish? I, 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 I'm at home in both, man, to be honest. 
I'm tight, I'm tight, I'm tight. Dolphin, dolphin. dolphin. Yeah, a little dolphin. dolphin. I'll get one right behind you, hopefully. Don't tangle me, you retard. Don't tangle you? Yeah, you're gonna put a bait right behind mine. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming right after That's you. That's called sabotage. It is, I'm coming right after you. At least I'm eating dinner tonight. Carlos is eating kingfish. I don't know if he's a keeper. Oh, he's 20 inches, dude. He looks like he's 10 inches. I'm on. <laughs> Hell, Jared. Oh, he just let it go. Oh, just came off. Heartbreak Hotel. Is that a weed fish? That's a weed fish now, yeah. Carlos, I hate to tell came you, but that's off. a keeper dolphin. Carlos, what happened? It's all right. The fish came up, grabbed it, I saw him pull it, and then he dropped it. You know, it's not a big dolphin. Dropped it. I dropped it back to him, and he came back, and thankfully he grabbed it. Hook set. All right, now, uh, what are we gonna do with this? We're gonna pinch it. Good dude, overall length. 27. On the board. On the board. Thank God. Close in the gap. Took Last long enough. to go. Now I'm back in the game. Still losing, but I'm back in the game. I have to admit, I was nervous when Carlos got another bite right there. Here, right here, right here, right here. This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, well, got me a little schooly dolphin. Coming right across the spread here. Want me to grab him for you? No, I'll get him. I'll get him. Carlos needs help. He's got some cool colors on him, though. Look at him. Blue fins. Little yellow tail. All right. Yeah, hold another dolphin back there. Are you tight, Steve, on that one? Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Got two water. fish on here. Two fish on. Oh, he's in the boat. How big? 27, exactly the same size as yours. His action picked up slow all morning. I had no bites. The last 10 minutes, I got three fish. 25-inch dolphin for Steve. Actually, I think it's a king. I see your color. Yeah, it's a king, not a big one. Gap it! Oh, you... That's crap right there. That was another 20 inches at least for me. Little dolphin. Yeah, you might want to let Mike shake it off the gap for you. Yeah, it'd be terrible if he lost it right there. There you go. Hilton. Cannot believe that just happened. We've got dinner. That's good. Not being very friendly, is it? 27 inch fish. Crap. We just put four or five dolphin in the boat. Nothing huge, but some decent fish. These guys are racking up some points here. Steve also lost another kingfish right at the boat. Just about ready to gaff the fish. The fish busts right off. Of course, wasn't his fault. These guys are working hard. They're trying to put more fish in the boat. Right now, Carlos has a commanding lead. He's up by about 40 inches, but that can change with one fish. So we're sticking with it here, getting out to this weed line. Let's see what we can find. Florida Sport Fishing is proudly presented by Dio Reels, advancing the sport of fishing. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer, has the right trailer at the right price. Rodan, precision GPS guided trolling motors. Fortress Marine Anchors, stronger, faster, lighter. Closed captioning provided by Boat Insurance Florida. Save 50%. Bionic Bait is the largest ballyhoo producer in the world, serving anglers for 25 years. We offer 100 varieties of bait for every type of saltwater fishing. Bionic Ballyhoo are exclusively caught and brined aboard our own boats in the Florida Keys. Within 24 hours, they're vacuum packed, flash frozen, and shipped in our own fleet of freezer trucks. Dedicated to excellent customer service, no one works harder to ensure your baits produce. Whether you're after a fresh fish dinner or a tournament winning marlin, fish prefer Bionic Bait. Right now we're burning about 8.5. I can't do this on my yummies. We're burning about 27.3 uh, an hour for full throttle. It's extremely impressive. Burning 29 dollars an hour. I'd be burning close to 40 with my Yamahas. Dude, I'm speechless. To discover the Verado difference, find a local dealer at mercurymarine.com slash Verado. Then take a test drive and experience it for yourself. It's unbelievable. Pro's Tip, brought to you by Pelagic. High performance offshore gear. 
When Toothy King Mackerel and Wahoo are real possibility, wire leader is a must. Along with single strand wire that we're all accustomed to, flexible titanium leader is emerging as the choice of professionals. This stuff is ultra thin and super strong. More importantly, it can be tied with a simple knot or crimped. Titanium Leader also offers a little bit of stretch and rarely kinks or curls. While Titanium costs more, it'll save you money in the long run by using less wire and you'll certainly land more quality fish. Pros Tip, brought to you by Pelagic, high performance offshore gear. Still swimming good though. God bless him. I got a good goggle eye. He's behaving. Hey guys, well that pretty much wraps up our fish off here. These guys both did a great job. They fished their butts off. We had some really, really challenging conditions. The bite was way off. We only found a couple of king mackerel and a handful of small dolphins, some schoolies. Uh, but they both did a great job. Carlos, congratulations. Thank Looked you. like you swept it with yep. a couple of dolphin and one kingfish. So you win the bragging rights for sure. And uh, again, just an awesome trophy mount from King Sailfish. Are you going to look for that dolphin or that king mackerel? I'll what go would with you the prefer? little dolphin. Okay, all right. Cool. Well, we got yeah. you covered. Yeah. Steve, you did a great job as well. You certainly fished your butt off all day. We covered a lot of ground today looking for action, did the best that we could second place finisher here. Congratulations on your boot. <laughs> Great job. And guys, we'll see you next week. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.